Previously on Revive Nations with Shaiju Matthew. We are walking into the Bible times like never before. This is not the time for us to slumber. This is not a time for us to sleep. This is a time for the church to rise and shine. Go on, what does this servant do? But if that. But if that wicked servant says to himself, uh -huh. my master is delayed. Whoa, 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 whoa. But if that wicked servant says, my master is delayed. So there is a wise and faithful servant. Write that down. Wise and faithful servant versus the wicked servant. What is the qualifications of a wise and faithful servant? The wise and faithful servant is working in the field, is working in the house, he is not resting, he continues to provide, he continues to prepare for the kingdom, he is expanding. So what is, what, is, what is the unwise servant is doing? The unwise servant is saying, my master is delayed. It is not just unwise, he is calling him what? Wicked. The moment you think that the coming of Jesus is not now, the Bible calls you wicked. Yes. There is a spirit of wickedness that is trying to deceive you into thinking that the coming of the Lord Jesus will be delayed. And I declare that into your spirit. You shall not be part of that deception. Yeah. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? The Bible is what purifies us the bride is purified by the word the word of the Lord is what purifies the bride <sighs> to present her without blemish on the day of his coming the word listen to me Pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation, post-tribulation, rapture doesn't matter. You have to be prepared that boom! It can be any time from this second the Lord Jesus comes. The beautiful master. You know, in my, in my time of prayer, I've been seeing the stripes Jesus, the whipped Jesus. And I kept saying, God, I, I, any reason you're showing me this and the Lord told me when you teach them about the glorious coming of my return don't forget to remind them this Jesus that was whipped stripped and crucified bled to his last ounce for their sins we have a hope for this return. The hope is not in your righteousness. The hope is not because you are perfect. <laughs> the hope is that the one that is perfect died for me. Therefore, I have hope that I will not be left behind. I will be taken with me. So child of God, don't be afraid, but just don't be wicked. There is a spirit of darkness, the wickedness of this world that will begin to suggest to you, ah, don't worry, Jesus is not coming. Ah, don't worry, these are all crazy people in the church. Ah, I cry for you. I do not come to you as a perfect man, far be it. And have I not preached to you many times that don't be fooled by any suit or jacket? I'll tell you which store I bought it from. <sighs> I come to you as the word speaks. Yesterday somebody was asking me, how can we just go boldly to the presence of Jesus? You know, and I, I told them, I said, when the Bible says, come boldly to the throne room of grace, it's not the boldness of your holiness. It is not the boldness of, oh, I prayed for three hours. 
and did what? Went back to scrolling on Instagram after three hours of prayer. <laughs> our best of our righteousness, the Bible says it's like filthy rags. You know, I remember when, when, when one brother saying, oh, twist so many years, I have never missed church. That was his righteous card. Do you, do you know what, what I'm talking about? He, his righteous card was, I have never, 20 something years, I have never missed a Sunday. Okay. Hello, COVID. Never saw him in church after that. 20 years of self-righteousness out of the window. Your righteousness will not take you to heaven. But your surrender will. So when you come, the Bible says, there are some people that have made a practice of ignoring the fellowship of saints. Some people have made a practice. Child of God, in the end times, more than ever, increase your fellowship with saints. There are friends that you can fellowship with that will take you to a bar, that will take you a party, and that's where you are left behind. The church is not perfect. In fact, if the church is perfect, don't join it because your imperfection will make it imperfect. But church is a house where sinners come together. That means it's a very broken place. But yet, Christ died for that church. It is in that fellowship of saints and the teaching of the word of God. God purifies you. God, do you have no idea. Listen, listen, listen. It was not your holiness that purified you. You sitting in the presence of God, the word of God was just fresh water being splashing on your soul and it splashed and it splashed as the word of God was wrestling with you and as you wrestled and you disagreed and you agreed and you disagreed and as you sat there in that chair the Holy Spirit was putting fresh water and just making you blemishless by the time you get up from your chair to go home hey my goodness by the time you're ready to go home your spirituality oh my god has increased more than all your self-righteousness from last week that is the power of the word of god the word of god is preparing you for his return so go on man of god what does it say if the servant says what But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed Uh and begins to beat his fellow servants Uh and eats and drinks with drunkards, Uh the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him Uh and at an hour he does not know. So what happens to a servant that does not believe in the immediate rapture? There is a sense of superiority that causes him to mistreat others. He beats up his fellow servants. But when you know the return of the Lord is coming, when you know the return of the Lord is coming, you will be nice to your brother. Are you listening? When you know the return of the Lord is coming, you will be nice to your sister. Because you know what? The return of the Lord is coming. You will treat your brother better. Oh, but she was not nice. Yes, yes. But you can be nice. Why? Because you're governed by the knowledge that the return of the Lord is near. You have no time for infightings. Are you following what I'm saying? We don't have time for competition. Is my keyboard better than yours? Is my drums better than yours? Who cares? We're going to leave all that behind when Jesus comes back. It is not about whose worship leader can sing better. But when your worship leader sings, is he, is she hosting the presence of God? I woke up in the morning and I just sat there and I said, God, please just use me. Because this word cannot be taught. 
thought to your people in human intellect you have to speak today's word has to be from you to them i was praying and surrendering trying to get out of the way so that it can be from the master's heart to you can you feel it he is calling for you he is wrestling with please finish the master of the servant will come on a day at an hour he does not know and will cut him in pieces uh-huh. and put him with the hypocrites uh-huh. in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of what teeth what place is that that's hell so what is jesus saying you have to not be caught unaware that is the goal don't be caught unaware not saying that you have to be um, perfect blemishless that is only jesus jesus is the perfect blemishless lamb of god but you your duty is that you are not caught unaware you cannot sit there and say i did not know i did not no you have to go 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 to luke, gospel of luke man of god go to gospel of luke chapter 21 Luke 21 was 34. Yeah. But watch yourselves lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and uh-huh. drunkenness uh-huh. and cares of this life. Uh-huh. And that day come upon you suddenly like so a So you trap. have to be aware. The whole thing about Jesus is coming like a thief in the night is saying don't be caught and away. Don't be caught the whole metaphor of jesus is coming as a thief in the night is saying the only reason you will you will be caught unaware is because you were not staying awake are you getting what i'm saying so here is what he's saying take heed that you are not caught unaware how will you be unaware what are the words they said one more time but watch yourselves lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares uh-huh. of this life dissipation break that word down for me what is it mean the squandering of money energy or resources yeah living without purpose okay number 2 drunkenness drunkenness anything that takes over you and now you are not led by yourself the alcohol inside of you is what is leading you that is drunkenness For some people it's going into a casino. I don't know why I'm saying that in this spirit. Yeah. For some people it is a video game. Your obsession with the video game. Your day starts with the video game, your day ends with the video game. It's the video game that is the alcohol that is influencing you. Drunkenness. What are you drunk with? Some of you are drunk with certain distractions of the world you're drunk with it you you can't not not have it you need that attention you need that flirting you need that obsession drunkenness what are you drunk with number 3 and cares of this life cares of this life worries of this life worry 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 child of god hear me carefully please please hear me carefully I love you and Jesus loves you more but cares of life will make you not be aware of his return anxiety about life worry what am i going to do how am i going to dress how am i going to uh, pay the fees how 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 worries of the life can cause you to be caught unaware do you see what happens to somebody that spends time anxious and worried and weighed down by the cares and concerns of this life what happens is their heart is no more looking up to see the return of the lord they heart is thinking oh i need to do about this what do i need to do you are, you are you are like a chicken that is looking down not an eagle that is looking up to see when is the next gust of wind coming cares of this world the enemy will try to fill your heart with worries worries 
worry about your husband worry about your wife worry about your children worry about worry 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 and you're caught on away can you be intentional this week can you be intentional not to give your heart into worry okay go on uh, for it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole okay. earth okay uh-huh but stay awake at uh-huh. all times uh-huh. praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that again, are going to take place again it talks about what stay awake what's that if i one more time for it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth uh-huh. but stay awake it will come like a what it will come like a snare it'll come like a trap but you what did you do what you should do stay awake okay stay awake uh huh at all times praying that you may have strength to escape uh-huh. all these things that are going to take place that means when the the whole world is going through it there will be grace given for you to escape it Okay so this is this is the verse where people are divided with they said yeah but it says that you will be um you will escape it so is that mean that you will escape all the seven years or you will escape the real tribulation or the greater tribulation doesn't matter guys don't 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 be divided you understand what i'm saying satan can use all these arguments to keep you divided from the real thing the real thing is that you're prepared <laughs> okay Listen listen I'm giving you the keys and then I'm done. This is important. Two things. Don't be drunk. Okay? With whatever you are like to be drunk. So some people are like, "Oh, but I don't touch alcohol." No, 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 no. You're drunk with something else. Some people are drunk with Facebook. So whatever you are drunk with, don't be drunk with. I'm giving you a rough example. You need to know, you know, the thing that nobody knows about. You know that thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't be, don't be drunk with that. Okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. Number one, don't be drunk. Number two, be watchful. Don't be drunk. Be watchful. Okay, read, read that again. Verse, verse 36. Can we try KJV? I like the wording in King James Version for this one. Watch ye therefore. Okay, number one, what? Uh-huh. and pray always and pray always but make sure you use pray now app <laughs> you know one of my favorite apps right now is the pray now app and we designed it right here on this table i had a problem i couldn't find an app that really was useful in in all the ways that i really wanted to log my time with the lord the focus of the prayer app was born from uh, the words of Jesus Jesus in Gethsemane comes to his disciples and say could you not have prayed with me for an hour not once not twice thrice to check on them and and telling them that there is an inability that they couldn't even clock an hour and i said you know what there must be an app that that we can track our daily progress of prayer life Um, yes i believe in the lifestyle of prayer but i also think that a concentrated time of prayer is the place of power we really are proud of what we have achieved when you download the app you can see all the places where people are praying from uh, different time zones different people when you hit pray now you get to choose how many how long you want to pray with a 15 minutes 5 minutes 30 minutes um you can choose different sounds of it like instrumental uh, spirited guided prayers here you can choose if you want to record your givings and you know because sometimes when you pray you also remember you want to give something to the lord and i wanted a place where we could record that besides that you have your personal list of what all you want to pray you can add your prayer items you can have custom prayer list for example you can have a prayer list to pray for your business your ministry your family so different prayer list that you can add notes is another favorite part of me like when i'm praying i don't want to leave the app i want to stay on the app so you have the ability of recording your notes this is my really exciting part where you you can now record your visions 
your, your visions, your dreams, a prophecy, a word, a song, whatever. You can write down when you were praying, what were you praying for when you saw that vision and what is God saying and, you know, neatly organized so that you are able to go through it and, and remember what God has been speaking. While you're on it, you can also uh, wave hi, pray for somebody that is praying with you. I thought there was a beautiful interaction to be able to pray with a number of people, you know, um, simultaneously around the world. You can see who is praying um, and you can see who is praying for you. But the most important part of it is where you can log your progress and you can, you can decide how hot was it, you loved it, it's okay. What the progress bar does is that you are able to compare between how was the last week's prayer versus this week's prayer. How was your last month's prayer versus this month's prayer. So you're able to see if there is a change of trajectory. Was there a greater spiritual attack in a certain month in a year? You're able to measure all of those events and I think that's an incredible spiritual measuring tool in your hands. So I can't wait for you to really try this out. And if you know somebody that is as passionate about prayer, make sure to share this with them as well. Enjoy. Unlock a revolutionary way to connect with God through the Pray Now app. Transform your prayer experience by seamlessly recording your prayer requests, thoughts, and moments of gratitude. As a companion on your spiritual journey, chart your daily walk with God in a deeply personal and meaningful way. Join a global community of believers by downloading Pray Now on your iOS and Android devices. That was a, a shameless plug right there. <laughs> We've been working on a prayer app. What a perfect timing. Because this is, this is what he's saying. In order for you to escape what is coming, what do you need to do? Watch and pray sometimes. Watch and pray a little bit in the morning and a little bit in the evening. No, 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 no. It's very clear. In order for you to escape all these things, in, look at that. To be accounted worthy to escape. That's too, too powerful. That means that you can be accounted unworthy and God can let you go through it. Or God can say, no, 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 no. I have seen her. She has watched and she has been in prayer okay watch therefore and pray always when you're watching it requires for you to not be drunk that is why they give you a DUI driving under influence you can't drink and drive you have to be sober to drive so in order for you to watch what are you watching when is the return of the Lord what are you watching? When is the thief about to break? So if last week's message alarmed you, good. I've done a good job. Good job, Shaju. Huh? Or the word that is coming to you this week is making you saying, mm, I cannot miss this. Then what you're doing is you're watching and you will not be broken into like a thief in the night. Oh, I said you will not miss the rapture. Yeah. You will know it. <laughs> yes. The Spirit of God inside of you will give you a sense. Yeah. You who put aside your time. You didn't sit at home watching hockey. Instead, you dragged yourself to the presence of God. Midway through, didn't leave the church 40 minutes after, you know, we like quick services, like fast food churches. No, no, no. You sat there saying, God, wash me with the word of God. How much more grace will be given for you to be accounted worthy? So have no fear. The grace of God will give you grace to overpower every struggle in your life. But you must desire it. You must desire it. There must be a cry. Even when you know you're messing up, there must be a cry saying, God, I don't like this. I'm sorry. Get me out of here, Lord. I don't know why I'm in this bar again. Let this be the last time I'll ever visit it. 
I don't know why I have the cigarette in my hands. Let this be the last one. Father, get me up. If you can cry like that, the Lord will not leave you behind. You will be accounted worthy in Jesus mighty name. Hello, welcome again. Thank you for being part of this Revive Nations family. We want to take a moment to appreciate all the partners around the world to help us to get this word out to you. And I know that this word that you just heard right now has kindled your spirit. Thank you for your generosity and every seed is a blessing to us. May God remember your giving and richly bless you. Much love and shalom. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 